All right, so we're checking out the only game that teaches you to be a dick to digital women so that you can get punched in the face in the game before it happens in real life. It's Drinks with Abby. More digital domestic violence, damn it. In Drinks with Abby, you apparently get to choose a name. 240 pixels, this is really specific. I have a criminal record. Nope, too big. I like to murder people. Nope, can't get that either. God damn. How about this? I'm a murderer. There, the end. Put some exclamation points in there. It's Saturday night and you scan the dimly lit bar, hoping to find her before your nerves catch up with reality. She sits cross-legged at a booth, typing away on her phone, because that's actually pretty realistic. She stares at you blankly. <laughs> Sorry, do I know you? It's I'm a murderer. <laughs> it turns the name into one of the answers. My bad. I thought you were my date, but she's a lot prettier. God damn, it's the first choice of the night and you can already gut punch your date. I just noticed every once in a while, the static image of Abby blinks at you and it's somewhat, there it is. It's a little bit unsettling. Hilarious. As fantastic as it is to tell her that I'm a murderer, I have to go with this. Hey, I look just like my pictures. Nice to finally meet you in person. I like your earring. I like your sweater. What happened to the other earring? Let me guess, she only has one ear. I like how one of the choices is just awkward silence. Who the hell are you? A waitress appears out of thin air and hovers over Abby. What can I get for you guys? Out of all the waitresses, we got the one that can breach the time-space continuum and appear out of nowhere. Actually, that's pretty good. My drink will fill itself up and I won't even have to see her. So Abby ordered a whiskey neat. Same for me. Cosmo, can I get a PBR? As a Florida man, I have to say that it took me many years to try PBR. The first time I saw it on draft was at a monster truck rally. That should tell you exactly what PBR stands for. American dreams, god damn it. All right, PBR and what's for all the Ds? PBR, it's always the cute ones. What does that mean? Like the PBR is cute or I'm cute? Wait, are you pissing all over my beer choice? You wanna talk crap about PBR? How about you show me your other ear? Yeah, I didn't think so. So have you met a lot of people online? Living or dead? I thought I was done with dating apps actually. Oh, this was from a dating app? Look, I don't know. There's no background for my guy. He could be a stalker for all I know. There needs to be answers for that. Be like, oh, Abby, yeah, so strange seeing you at the bar and at the library and at the train station. But the thing in the wanted app where you only talk to one person at a time seemed cool. The app is called the wanted app. You know how they have like farmer singles and stuff like that? It's probably an app for criminals because you get a million messages otherwise. Clearly we're trying to dig our way out of the hole that we started when we told her that the girl we were supposed to be meeting looked a lot better. Yup. Wow, she's, she's very modest. I think it's cause of my, oh, please let me answer this. It's because of your right ear, isn't it? She pushes her breasts up with both hands. There's no nudity in this game, right? Hold on. I'm looking at the reviews here for the game. Not hentai, pass. All right, I guess we're safe. Personality. You do have a really nice personality. We're not all like that. Some of us really are interested in your personality, but sadly, Abby, I'm a murderer is not one of them. Of all the things you could have complimented me on tonight, you lead with my boobs. You started this. I find that very interesting, especially when this sweater swallows them up. I like how she's likening her sweater to the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, the sweater's so weird. It's like a black hole for boobs. What do you think of our waitress? I think that she might kill us both. She snuck up on our table and we didn't see sh She's pretty cute, right? That is loaded as hell. She's not really my type. Yeah, I think she's cute. I feel like this is a trick question. Both of these are good, but this is literally what I was thinking. No, I was just curious if we had the same taste in women. Wait a second. All right, yeah, she's cute. Wow, we gave in really quick. Okay, so, so far our date has pushed her breasts in our face and is slightly hot for the waitress. I feel like the guy that said that this isn't hentai was wrong. Oh boy, that's what editing's for. Onward. Okay, good, deal intact. What deal? I'm not gonna lie, it'd be kind of funny if the waitress and Abby were working together and it's the other way around. It's not the guy that's a sick bastard, it's the girls. If I die by the end of this game, I'm giving this a five-star review. Wait, I'm really glad I put so many exclamation points in my name because this game loves to put a lot of letters at the end of words. Oh, Abby, your girlfriend's back. 
Here you go. Abby's drink doesn't have a straw. You failure. Oh God, she blinks as well. Those are some fantastic nails you've got there, waitress. I was just checking to see if there was any blood under them. I'm not gonna lie, like just the images of these two girls standing here, it's like they're staring at you incredibly judgingly. This entire game is made to make you feel as uncomfortable as possible. She's not gonna say anything. Would she want me to? Hell yes, I'd flip the damn table over. I'll check on you in a bit. Actually, she asked for a straw. And while you're at it, get me one for my PBR. <laughs> oh, did she? Yeah. Give me my straw, bitch! <laughs> yes! Oh, Abby's a psychopath. This is fantastic. I went from not wanting to date Abby to immediately wanting to date Abby. The waitress pulls a straw from her apron and tosses it directly into Abby's drink. I kind of thought she was going to toss it through Abby's eyeball. A little rude about it, but at least he noticed. <laughs> Thank you. That'll be all, miss. Yeah, drink assassin, vaporize your ass out of here. What the hell? The internal dialogue is exactly what I was thinking. There she goes, she just teleports away. She's drinking a whiskey neat like a juice box. I really need to not fuck this up. Yeah, because if you forget a straw in Abby's drink, she may kill you. There's an awkward pause. Yeah. I'll bet Abby's getting wasted on whiskey and I might get berated next, but maybe we can skip the small talk. Oh Christ, I already have to do that all day at work. Abby, what do you want to do? Part of me thinks you might want to have sex. Part of me thinks you might want to set a drugstore on fire. I'm, I'm having, I'm really struggling to figure your personality out. I love how Abby is like, tell me about your family. And I'm a murderer says, well, I have a mom and a dad. You know, when you hand a report into the teacher and you already know that you're going to get an F, that's, that's what you write in the report. Oh, interesting. Not as interesting as your psychotic outbreaks, but yeah, I, I guess it's, I guess it's kind of interesting to have parents. I like all of them. I'm starting to think that our protagonist is like a caveman family good must be genetic right obviously this back and forth's getting a little weird abby i'm at this annoying age where i realize how much like my parents i am it's so weird thinking back they never forced me to do or be anything you have imaginary parents don't you i'm a murderer it's totally possible that Abby's not even really here. She might be a figment of our imagination and we're just talking to ourselves inside of the booth in the bar. That's why that waitress didn't even get that mad about being called a bitch. He was just like, that's ah, so weird. That guy's just talking to himself. Oh well. But here I am, an engineer, just like them. I almost became an engineer because I didn't have to take many English classes in order to do it. Um, now I understand why his statement about what his family is like was I have a mom and a dad. I wouldn't say my parents forced me to go a certain way, but they definitely pushed. What do you do for a living, Abby? Is it skinning teenagers? It's skinning teenagers, isn't it? My dad's a dentist. He always wanted me to work with him. Jesus Christ, it's, it's almost as bad. I didn't have any better ideas. So that's what I did. Abby is a dentist. You know how many dentists appear in horror movies? The answer is a lot. Abby says she wants to go to Japan. Hentai, here we come. Let's shoot some pool. Let's play some darts. Yeah, give Abby a sharp implement. Why not? Can you get us a couple more drinks? Sure. Hit me again. Who the hell is this? Holy sh! It's Will Patton. Tom, right? I'll be with you in a sec. Oh, by the way, apparently the drink ninja's name is Rachel. We're on a roll with the sh tips tonight. I like how everyone in this entire game is an asshole. What can I get for you? Two PBRs, please. Another whiskey and PBR. Oh, in the same glass, by the way. You seem like an okay dude. You know, apart from the fact that you've been talking to yourself all night. That's what you want to say, isn't it, Rachel? But honestly, it's not looking good for you. Like Abby's not going to go for me or like there is no Abby. Really? I like how I started off the entire night by commenting on the fact that Abby's entire worth was her breasts and she's not as pretty as I thought she was. And my guy's like, I, I'm not a catch. What do you mean? I'm just not sure you're her type. 
that's all. You know what, Rachel? You're not really her type either. Her type is the kind that doesn't forget the goddamn straws. You peek at the games area where Abby is talking to a guy and some other guy trying to swoop in doesn't help. Well, you look like you're like eight drinks in. You want to go kick some ass with me? You should tell him to stay away from her. A night isn't complete without a fist fight. Let's do it. This is the guy I'm dealing with. Never bring plaid to a bar fight. His name is Kyle? Sorry, I didn't realize you were with someone. You lying bastard. Actually, there's a really good possibility this dude is Canadian. He seems like a really nice guy and he's wearing plaid and started a sentence with sorry. He could also be drinking a moose head or something. I'm Kyle. Look at that winning smile. This guy looks like the dude that does my taxes. God, he's like Chris Evans with bigger lips and better hair. He reaches out to shake your hand, but you ignore it. Men don't shake hands where I'm from, Kyle. We spar to kick each other. I know what you're trying to do, man. Have a friendly conversation. Kyle, you're really starting to make me look like a dick here. I mean, it's true, but it's just, you're kind of turning this on its head. You need to stay away from Abby. I like how possessive we've come of her when we've known her for like eight minutes and we met her on a dating app. <laughs> and she's also possibly crazy. Um, excuse me? I like how her face changed to the pursed lips. I can actually feel her disapproval from this image. What, we're on a date? Yes, but dude. I feel like a guy in college wrote the narrative for everyone in this game. Kyle, give us a second. Oh, you're all on first name basis. Yeah, of course. He waits nearby, suiting up in white knight armor. We're going to lose to Kyle. I can already feel it. It was nice talking with you, but I've done this whole thing before. You got picked up by a Canadian accountant in plaid that looks slightly like Chris Evans? What the hell? Not exactly what I'm looking for right now, but I brought you a straw this time. I think you're overreacting. I like how the murderer is the only level-headed person in this game. She's like, I don't need someone to decide who I can spend time with, but especially not on the first fucking date. Wait a second, I feel kind of weird about this. If you don't want to spend the time with the person that you're on your very first date with to get to know them, who's in the wrong here? I don't even know anymore. Okay, I get it. I'm a murderer after all. Could you just leave, please? I will if you don't. Wait, are you leaving with or without Kyle? <laughs> Fine. You grab your jacket and head out into the snow alone where you will eventually die of hypothermia. Well, that was brutal. The walk to your car is riddled with thoughts about what you might do differently if you had a second chance. Real quick, I wanted to try my second chance out. So instead of saying like the awkward silence for what I have to comment about her physically, I chose her earring and she's like, oh God, don't look at my ears. It's gonna be true, she only has one ear. You're not allowed. I like how I can't tell her not to talk to Kyle, but she can tell me not to look at her ears, which are attached to her head. I guess it's back to the breasts then. Mine are weird. Okay, I'm shaking hands with Kyle this time. I'm sure everything will go swimmingly. There's my introduction. It's great. Oh, your name's Kyle, is it? Oh, I'm a murderer. He smirks at your drink. Oh, I picked the Cosmo this time, by the way. So are you guys together or? Well, I'm gonna be as unpossessive as possible. We just met. Welcome to the family, bud. What is this, her, her friggin' brother or something? I like how I didn't butt in. And now Kyle and Abby are like talking to each other and I'm like, hey, we're going to play darts. And they're both like, oh, there's plenty of time for that later. And now after several minutes, you find yourself zoning out, aimlessly taking in your surroundings. Their sudden loud laughter snaps you out of your trance. This is why you keep people in plaid away from your girls. Sorry, that went on a bit longer than I expected. No problem, Abby. I was just counting the bricks on the wall. She plants her feet and prepares to throw. Her stance seems proper. Like an experienced player, she brings the dart to her eye line and takes her shot, hitting about an inch from the center. And that's when you know that you're screwed. I hate you. You hate, wait, you hate me or the dartboard? Are you having one of your episodes again, Abby? You step up for your turn. Oh God, you'd be really surprised if I hit a bullseye, wouldn't you? I'd be surprised if you hit the dartboard. Touche. If you're so confident, why don't we make it interesting? Oh, sure. I think a bet would be great when we're both drunk. Money or a kiss? I guess I'll take the kiss, but we have to do it in front of Kyle. Um, I don't know. Hey, you're the one that made the deal. You line up your shot. No pressure. The throw looks perfect at first, but then the dart drops further than expected and lands under the bullseye. Damn it. The walk to your car is riddled with thoughts about what you might do differently. 
about which part of this night? Well, I just had the most awkward date I think I've ever had. In a game or in real life. I'm not gonna lie. This will adequately prepare you for goddamn near anything that could possibly happen while out with a woman. Well, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Drinks with Abby. I'm gonna go contemplate my life choices now. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>